Good afternoon, everybody. It's Sunday. That means a double teaching day. And uh, it's in the afternoon. I've had a short nap in my recliner here, rocker recliner, with my prayer shawl on the back. Uh, Arnold Palmer tea, lemon and tea and sugar. Pocket change yesterday for this one. The guy was quite a wheeler dealer. He asked for, he wanted $2 for it. I told him it wasn't perfect, that it was chipped right there. And I got my pocket chains out. I gave him four quarters. And then he said, well, how much you got left in your hand? And then he, he split the difference. He wanted two. I wanted to pay four quarters. I ended up getting it for a buck and a half. Now, point here is, do you realize that um, the Star of David, which is two triangles, can you see the two tri triangles there? There's a triangle there, there's a triangle there. Six points. In the opening in the center, you can get six more triangles. And actually, the 12 tribes of Israel fit in the Star of David. Did you know that? So anyway, I've got my blue and silver. The, the colors of the flag are white and blue. I have blue eyes. I like blue. Blue's my favorite color. I'm wearing red here for YouTube. YouTube, please put this teaching out here. Uh, this teaching needs to go out now. Okay? So whoever's critiquing my teachings on YouTube, I think this one will work. The teaching is called The Day. Now, there's a lot of junk prophets out there prophesying this, that, everything else, history, time, places. I did that with Revelation. I had all my charts together. I studied in seven different Bibles for two years. I was going to be God's man of the hour to reveal the secrets of Revelation. And when I got all done, I had my charts, and I was ready to do my first teaching. The Holy Spirit talked to me, and he said, don't you teach that. You don't have it right. So I put it all away. Now, point being, there's just so much junk going on out there in Christianity and false prophets, phony baloney prophets, that the, the, the Holy Spirit tells me, Bernie, stay in the Word. Bernie, stay in the Word. So I'm staying in the Word, and the teaching today is the day. And it's the day, that day, the day, the day, and I added at the finish line. Now, I'm going to read the finish line to you. We're going to 1 Thessalonians in the New Testament, chapter 5. All right, got a drink of my tea. My throat's ready to go. That runs dry. The finish line of the subject I'm reading on is verse 11. 511, the finish line. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together. And edify one another, even as also ye do. The day. I have added the day. Now we're going to back up to the starting line and run through the middle of the race and read verse 11 again. I'm doing good because I only yacked for three minutes on the opening. Verse 5, 1 of 1 Thessalonians, this teaching is called the day. But for the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Paul speaking, the number one writer of New Testament scripture. New Testament, grace, mercy, and peace. Faith, hope, and love, the greatest of those three is love, and then we use love again. Love, grace, mercy, peace, and joy in the kingdom of God is spiritual, is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. All right, verse, second verse, for yourselves know perfectly that the day, the teaching, the day, the day of the Lord, perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, that they are all the nation leaders and government leaders of the world. Okay? When they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as Here's a key word, travail upon a woman with child. Now, I've had two girls. Uh, I didn't have them. My wife had them. <laughs> but the second one, she jumped out of bed. She said, my water broke. 
So we went to the hospital. We walked the halls in the hospital. She didn't even make it in the delivery room. They delivered the baby in the waiting room. Now, the first one didn't come as quick, which was actually her third, her, her second and third. She had had a boy by a previous marriage. Okay, now, uh, travail. So we're starting the 0 to 10 centimeters opening for the baby to come out. Birth pains, travail, and a woman that's pregnant for nine months, eventually in the last two or three months, she knows she's pregnant. She's just, I, I, I pulled this one on my wife, you'll like it. I said, honey, you're beautiful. You, you look just like a dirigible. And she didn't know what the word dirigible mean, meant, which was a blimp, like the big floating balloons that the Germans made, dirigible. <laughs> she didn't like it after she found out what dirigible meant. But in the last two or three months, a, a woman is very big with child. The water breaks. The travail starts. The pains. And she opens up and delivers the child. So this is what the word says. Bernie, stay in the word. That's what the Lord told me. Travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. When they cry, peace is saved. Now, I wrote something here, and I'm going to take it out of text. I told you I'm taking it out of text and you're not supposed to. But I called up my sister, and I told her this over and over again. I am using uh, 1 Corinthians, I didn't write it down here, 1 Corinthians 11, let's see if I can flip back and find it real quick, Eleven fourteen. Doeth not even nature itself teach you, and the subject is long hair on a man right there. I'm taking it out of text. When the earth starts swelling like a pregnant woman, you ought to know that pressure under the earth is going to burst something. It's going to cause an earthquake or a volcano. Doeth not even nature itself teach you, and especially when the buffalo and the bison leave the valley, they're not going to get caught in the earthquake or the volcano. They're going to leave. Nature itself teach you anything. Enough for that one. And I took it out of text. But the point is, doeth not nature itself teach you anything? The skies, the earth, the clouds, the weather, the hurricanes, the lightning, the storms, uh, the earth rising 10 to 12 inches in area. Think, you think there's pressure underneath it? Okay, travail that come upon a woman with child. Verse 4, but ye brethren are not in darkness. That that day, the day, that day, in the next one we get the day, the day again. So we get three the days into that day, and I add a fifth one at the very end of the finish line. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all not children in King James. I hope you're mature saint sons and you're hearing what I'm saying. Ye are all... The saint sons of light. All right, light. The kingdom of light. Immortality dwelling in the light. Light is truth and reveals a lie in darkness. And you're not of the darkness. You're saint sons of the day, capital D. In fact, the day, capital D. All right? And a small d here where I'm reading, and they all should be capitalized, capital day. Days of sun, sun, saints, sons of daylight, and it's spiritual. I'm not talking about the light that the sun makes on the earth during the day. I'm talking about spiritual light, understanding. Ye are all saints, sons of light, and the saints, sons of the day. We are not of the night, nor of the darkness. We comprehend. Darkness does not comprehend. It says so in the Gospel of John, the first chapter. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do in our minds. Sleep in our minds. I'm looking at the world right now. They have got no idea what's on the horizon. They're just going about their life as they have for the past 20 to 50 years. And it's all about to pop <laughs> like a pregnant woman travailing. Okay. I'm staying in the scripture, Lord. Verse 6, therefore let us not sleep as others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they which are drunken are drunken in the night. 
But let us, the saints' sons, who are of the day and the spirit, truth, light, be sober, put on the breastplate of faith in, faith in the anointing, Christ, agape love, phileo love, love of the brethren, and as you see that day approach, assemble yourselves to the truth teachers, the spirit teachers, and I'm one of 24 plus continuator truth teachers that are on earth right now. Every generation has had truth teachers. They're continuators. They're prophet teachers. They're spirit teachers that teach truth. And they come out of nowhere, totally unknown, a nobody like me. <laughs> All right. Uh, and the helmet of the hope of salvation, Shua. I've had my teachings out on Shua. Salvation, Redeemer, Deliverer, Reconciler. Verse 9, For God hath not appointed us unto his wrath, but that doesn't mean we won't be in the midst of volcanoes, earthquakes, uh, nuclear wars, you know. But we're not appointed unto God's wrath, but we are appointed unto persecution for a witness and a testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. If you think you're going to have an easy way out in rapture, you're not. Shouldn't even use the word. The Holy Spirit didn't put the word rapture in his holy word. So don't use it. <laughs> All right. For God hath not appointed us unto wrath or his wrath, but to obtain salvation, Shua, by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us that whether we awake or sleep, we should live together with him. The gospel of John 17, 24. Father, those saint sons that you've given me for an inheritance might be with me where I am and behold my glory. 12 minutes and I made it to the finish line. I started with this, I end with this and I added the day, all right? Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do the day. And I just taught 5-2 of 1 Thessalonians, the day, capitalize it. 5-4 of 1 Thessalonians, that day, capitalize it. 5-5 five, five of 1 Thessalonians, the day, capitalize it. 5-8 of 1 Thessalonians, the day, capitalize it, and, and that makes four of them, locked in major doctrine, and I added it to verse 11, the day. The name of this teaching is the day. Spirit teacher Eugene Berry can find over 200 teachings archived on YouTube. Thank you, YouTube. YouTube, red shirt, put this one out there soon, please, I beg you. <laughs> Bye.